Don't deny me Cause I feel it It's your heartbeat It's your hands Don't deny me From this feeling Cause I could never say goodbye No, I can't let you go I did uh, four sets of uh, of 12 reps, just keeping uh, the tempo, trying uh, not to stop through all the uh, complete 12 reps. I think I might have stopped by the 10th or 11th, uh, but pretty much the whole set was uh, was done at a nice tempo, controlling the weight and feeling the muscle. That that really really got me fired up, got me sweating. So after that, I decided to do some uh, stiff leg uh, deadlift. And for those, I work with 225 pounds. I only use the straps to make sure that I. Uh, I got in uh, enough reps. I was shooting again for 10 to 12, and I believe I got 12 on all of them. And no belt. And again, just trying to keep a nice tempo through all the whole movement. I was feeling my hamstrings a lot on this movement, so I try to keep tension on my, ham on my hamstrings throughout the whole movement and the reason I did that because on the leg on the squat press even though my hamstrings were involved I was feeling more my quads so I wanted to target my hamstrings a little bit also and uh, and after that since I believe my hamstrings is the weakest part of my leg uh, and glutes of course uh, I'm quite dominant meaning that my quads are way more stronger than my hamstrings and my glutes. So I decided to uh, incorporate some uh, lunges, some walking lunges. And and for this uh, walking lunges, I did it with dumbbells. I haven't done this in a while, so I just stick with 60 pounds uh, on each hand. And again, I shoot it for 10 to 12 reps, and I did three sets for those. And and those were pretty good too. I think I want to be, I don't know, my glutes and hamstrings are going to be sore tomorrow and tomorrow I believe I have to do deadlift, so that's going to be interesting. But again, really, really good exercise. If you have uh, space in your gym, 
and you can do some walking lunges. I highly recommend it. Uh, personally, I like those better than than stationary, which means that you stay in the same place and you do the lunges in the same place. Uh, the, the advantage of you staying on the same place is that you can keep tension on that muscle throughout the whole movement. Like, you only use one leg at a time, so you can keep uh, tension on that leg throughout your whole, your, your whole set. Uh, if you're walking, tension uh, shifts to the opposite leg. So, but when you're walking, you incorporate more um, you incorporate more your torso because you need to stay uh, lined up. You need to keep your balance because you're walking. Uh, when you are stationary, you don't need to do that as, as much. Especially if you do it in the Smith machine, it's just the whole, it's just um, that muscle, and that's it. So, so again, I decided to go for the walking lunge because. Short out of time, I can incorporate more muscles throughout the movement, aka my torso and and uh, both legs uh, in one set. So it's more time efficient for me. Uh, I also do the the in one place lunge, but not as often. I rather do the walking lunge, and and that was it. Then I decided to do like a pause squat but it was just more like you know just to see how it felt I closed I, my feet were very very uh, close together and that felt okay I mean I used the 135 and 185 so I don't I don't even I don't even know if I recorded that but but that was it good workout short workout I would have loved to do more uh, extensions and curls in the machines but again run out of time have a busy day ahead I got I have to work and then I gotta go finish those screens for today, and then I have to uh, uh, go to a gymnastics uh, event with my kids. So, so that's it for the workout today. Uh, 7 a.m. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'm done. Now it's time for you to go get it. I know it's you to